Hi, welcome to Excel Tech. Today we have Functions Episode 4 and we're going to cover the ACOS function. Excel's description of this is it returns the arc cosine of a number in radians in the range of 0 to pi. The arc cosine is the angle whose cosine is a number. So basically what that means is we're going to use the inverse cosine to find the angle of a triangle. Let's dive in using a little bit of trigonometry. First we begin finding this triangle's cosine by dividing the adjacent here with the hypotenuse over here using the old faithful Sokatoa. This returns the value that we need of 0 0.833 and the basis for the ACOS function that we're going to use. Now using the cosine value that we've just established, we can then return the radian value of the inverse cosine or arc cosine. So if you're using the formula ACOS, open parentheses, put in the value, here I've referenced cell D3 which is a 0 0.833, close parentheses and this should give you the value of 0 0.586. This value is the radiant value for the inverse cosine. We can now work out what the angle is over here by converting radians to degrees and that's done by a simple formula of multiplying 180 over pi or 3.14. So to do that in a formula, you do A, C, O, S, open parentheses, put in your cosine value, which in here is D3, close parentheses, multiplied by 180, divided by PI, open close parentheses. And this tells me that the angle here is 34 degrees. Another way to do this is if you put the formula degrees, open parentheses, A, C, O, S, open parentheses again, put in D3, which is what our cosine value is, close parentheses, close parentheses, and this will return the same value. So we know that the angle here in A is 34 degrees. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any comments in the section below, and thanks for watching.